the design for this project is just incredible and it's incredible that this team pulled it off during the pandemic, during COVID-19. When brought fully through completion, you'll feel as if you're in an honorary park, but also really can experience the life and values of Billie Holiday as an artist. Also, if you're a neighbor in that block, have spaces for you and your children to play, for neighbors to hang out, for you to stoop sit. So many different ways you can occupy a space like an alley block because you don't need to actually give that much credence to the car. And they've leveraged every possible aspect. I am trained as an architect, but I am an urban strategist. I'm a recent graduate of the University of Maryland. I'm an architect originally from India. I'm an environmental graphic designer at BCT Design Group. The community's goals were partly to celebrate Billie Holiday herself. The residents really appreciated that Lady Dayway was a tourist attraction. Everyone had a lot of knowledge about her and wanted kind of all the aspects of her to be highlighted. We really wanted to honor Billie Holiday and really respect her experiences as an artist, but then also as a human. You could have like a QR code and people can access it from their phones and could listen to the music while they walk down the street. We thought about traffic calming so that it's safer to like come out and enjoy each other's company. It was the most interesting team that I've worked with. Like, everyone did such amazing work. I think um, I we were able to kind of put together like a cohesive project. It already is special, but it will be more of a destination in the next few years. Best kept secret would be that there are really amazing people that live on Billy Holiday Way. There are things that you can research and you can look up, um, but there are some people who have almost dedicated their lives to figuring out her story.